Elwood was 12 when the encyclopedias appeared. One of the bus boys dragged the stack of boxes into the kitchen and called for a powwow. Elwood squeezed in. It was a set of encyclopedias that a traveling salesman had left behind in one of the rooms upstairs. Barney, the cook, opened the top box and held up the leather-bound volume of Fisher's Universal Encyclopedia, A to B. He handed it to Elwood, who was surprised at how heavy it was. A brick with pages edged in red. The boy flipped through, squinting at the tiny words, Aegean, Archimedes, Argonaut, and had a picture of himself on the front room couch, copying down words he liked. Words that looked interesting on the page or that sounded interesting in his imagined pronunciations. Corey, the bus boy, offered up his find. He didn't know how to read and had no immediate plans to learn. Elwood made his bid. Given the personality of the kitchen, it was hard to think of anyone else who would want the encyclopedias. Then Pete, one of the new dishwashers, said he'd race him for it. He wiped his hands on his pants and said, we got time before the dinner service, if you're up for it. <laughs> 